this video, I'll be showing you how to install the Digisender XD HDMI. First up, we have the instructions. These have been written in an easy to follow manner and include troubleshooting and frequently asked questions section. Then we have the HDMI cable, one for the transmitter, and one for the receiver. Next we have the power supply. Again, we have one for the transmitter, and one for the receiver. They include both 3-pin UK and 2-pin Euro adapters. All models in the XD series use 5 volt 1 amp power supply. Here we have some accessories that allow the transmitter and receiver units to be displayed vertically rather than horizontally. We also have the IR System Technique Remote Relay Kit. This is the IR emitter. It also includes a number of accessories that allows you to customise it to your particular setup. So let's have a look at the digicenters themselves. This is the transmitter unit. If we have a look at the back panel, you can see that the first item of interest is the HDMI input. This is where you connect the HDMI cable that comes out of your satellite box. Next to that, we have the HDMI output or HDMI through pass. This is where you connect a HDMI cable going to the main TV. Next along, we have a socket labelled IR, and this is the socket that you connect the IR emitter into. Then we have the pair button. The units are already paired in the factory, so this is only used if you need to repair the transmitter and receiver units. This is the socket for the power supply. And lastly, we have the antenna. So that's the transmitter, now let's look at the receiver unit. This is the device that gets your satellite signal from the transmitter and outputs it to a second TV. Again, let's take a look at the back panel. First up is the mode switch. This is used for switching the digisender between test mode and normal mode. In test mode, it will display information about signal quality. Next to that, we have the pair button. Then, we have the HDMI output. This is where you connect a HDMI cable going to your second TV. This is the socket for the power supply. And again, we have the antenna. So that's everything included in the pack. Now let's move on to installing the transmitter. Look at the back of your main TV and disconnect the HDMI cable that comes from your satellite receiver. Connect it to the HDMI input on the back of the transmitter. Take one of the HDMI cables that was included in the pack and connect this to the HDMI output. Connect the other end to a HDMI input on your main TV. Now connect the IR emitter to the socket labelled IR on the back of your transmitter. Remove the label on the front of the IR emitter and position it so that the lens is facing the infrared sensor on your satellite box. Lastly, connect the transmitter to the mains using one of the included power supplies and switch on. That's the transmitter installed. Let's move on to installing the receiver. Take the other HDMI cable that was included in the pack 
and connect this to the HDMI output on the back of the receiver. Connect the other end to a HDMI input on your second TV. Now connect the receiver to the mains using the other power supply and switch on. So that's everything installed, we can now move on to using the DigiSender. To start using the DigiSender, first ensure that the satellite box is turned on. Next, turn on the transmitter. Then, go to the receiving location and turn on the receiver. Turn on the second TV and select the HDMI input channel that you connected the receiver to. Once you select the correct HDMI input channel, you'll see the satellite channel that your satellite box is set to. You can change the satellite channel from the receiving location by using the original satellite remote control. Just point it at the front of the DigiSender receiver and use it just like you normally would. And it's as easy as that. The DigiSender is up and running and you can now enjoy your satellite channels in another room. <laughs>